similar-ish, but not really, to the, uh, what are we playing? Um, Enter the Gungeon. It's a lot more slower paced, and if you, with Enter the Gungeon, you like Enter the Gungeon, and you like what you see, uh, but you want something a little bit more slower paced, and Enter the Gungeon does not have quite enough birds in it for you, then this is the perfect game. And I would say a good, oh, an okay, an okay starting point for a uh, new player because you can choose your difficulty level. We're gonna play easy mode, okay? So we're gonna play easy mode. Okay. Um, so with this, you can also go to seated, which um, so you basically it's what you what you think. Um, so after uh, I've been playing a little tiny bit on the switch and. This is my very first run on the PC, uh, so you can do daily challenges as well, um, a little bit later on, and they're a lot of fun. It's just to this leaderboard daily challenge, which kind of always keeps you coming back for like you know each day. All right, let's get to it. Okay, um, so you can learn about the characters. Custom. I know you can make your own custom character. That must be some new update. Oh, it's a mod thing. That's okay. That's why the which switch doesn't have it. So yeah, they've all got their pros and cons. Uh, I'm you can go as a chicken. Sorry, a duck, a platypus, which isn't really a bird, but I guess they got beaks. It's all about things with beaks, I guess. So got beaks and uh, bluebird, chicken, and a parrot. So my favourite. It's actually the chicken because it has a high weapon range. So we're just going to go with the chicken. Um, but as you know, if you've seen any of my binding of eyes, that uh, okay, so many games mixed up. Well, playing that game as well. But um, my uh, into the dungeon, I like to say, I like to play long range. You know, get out of the heat of the battle. And this is a quite a um. Good little chicken. Bread. Thank you for saving me. I'm going to explain these kind of items as well, which is what gives this game quite a unique twist. Save me until we carry up my out effect. Carrying will only make me weaker still. Can you take it and give it to the pro for me? Oh, would be nice. Okay. So, this thing. So those things that are covered with the um, the redness, they are items that um, the, all the artifacts you pick up to see this poison spearhead reduces reload speed and rate of fire by thirty percent. So you you pick up the reason for picking up these kind of things that makes your run harder and harder is when to two they get pop up randomly. So shop. You can talk to this guy, he will give you stuff based on uh, how many items you have. And then you lose them all, so then you're kind of back to spare one. Quite good. Then you get little, you know, things that make your run better. So now we've got four out of six health and some other thing. And as you can see, you've got the top, uh, the top right, looks like a little bag, which is where you pick up your artifacts. Um, that'll keep going up, and the higher it is, the more um, good things you'll get. So, and you'll find that a lot of things will actually, um, what's the word, they'll complement each other. For example, you have one where, I'm trying to give an example, uh, one where you don't pick up, you can't pick up any gold. But then you might get another artifact which goes, um, a, a, you know, it'll, enemies will only drop you know, half the amount of gold. So you're not getting gold anyway, so you will 100% pick that up. Okay, you will be chased by a deadly ghost in every level. We're gonna risk it. So see that, we've got two now. There's that deadly ghost that will chase us. Unfortunately, we cannot attack him at all. Uh, well, because he's a ghost, he'll just go straight through it. That's okay, he's quite slow anyway, so it's not too bad. Oh, okay, but he does, he's a sneaky little bugger, as you can see. He's trying to catch me, but 
He's in my peripheral vision, so you can still look at him directly all the time, because otherwise you'll get hit by bullets. And these things will spike you. Stay on it for too long. What's this thing do? That's fine. This stage, we just, I say early, early on in the game, you just kind of want to collect as much bad stuff as you can so you can get uh, more good stuff. Ah, uh, what was that? Oh, does it, mm. okay, did the ghost hit me? You must have. So maybe if he hits me once, I die. Oh my, unlucky. Third by Swamp Ghost. Okay, so he's probably mm, kind of a risky one to. What other one? We're kind of, we're kind of getting out up there. Yeah, like for the first episode, we've got to have a couple of uh, couple of rounds if uh, we don't do very well on the first shot. So I. This game, I um, well, I randomly came actually because it was on the. Uh, eShop sale on the Nintendo Switch, and it was ended up being like three dollars or something like that. And I thought, oh yeah, why not? And uh, well, I'm so glad I did pick up because it's it a lot of fun, and it's kind of it's the kind of game I'm looking for. Something that's sort of like Enter the Gungeon, but not as hectic. And I like birds. Oh yes, I'm wearing a beanie today because I am having a bad hair day. I'm normally having a bad hair day, but it's even worse today. So, um, and you can't touch the poison looking green slime, otherwise you'll be Okay, I got the hair. blend into the grass. They're, they're green and so is the grass, obviously. And um, yeah, so sometimes I won't see the enemies, but I guess you'll kind of, uh, you can't get hearts. That's fine, we hardly get hearts anyway. Kind of need something. We take the risk for an early run, I'd say. Not wasting too much time if we do die. Probably yeah, a little bit like when you're um a little further into the game that you may be like, oh should I pick that up? Should I pick that up? But early game, just pick up early if you can. The way I'm not gonna touch that stuff. The way you know if it's a shop, it's got a little lantern on top of the thing. This is a boss room, and you can go into a boss room now to get to the next uh so pull chambers, chamber two. But, or you can keep going on to more floors. I will get rid of my heart thing in the kit. Hopefully he gives us something decent. Okay, we've got one HP left, your weapon deals double damage. That's quite handy because we only have one HP left. Um, okay, and let's buy a random weapon. Can I, but can I change? I'm wondering if I can change my weapons. That's the only thing I'm not too sure about. I think, don't quote me, but I think you can only carry one weapon at a time. Let's just have a quick look at the. Okay, there is no options. No options. Nope, okay, that's okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm guessing I don't pick up one of the You know what? It's, I like it. It's completely randomised. It's just like you have no you have no choice. You pick random stuff. Someone you can pick you get. Like, you normally can pick your guns. But, yeah. Okay. So, this boss is a giant froggy guy. You can only attack him once he's got his. Okay, yeah. Poke his tongue out, and now he's going to attack. Because we have double damage, he's going to do a lot. 
Alright guys, take me out. It's the quickest I've ever taken that going out. And... Uh, ability to be invisible for three seconds. Um, okay, so this will be a um, active item. So... I'd, at the moment I've got dodge. So I can dodge, dodge. This instead I can be invisible in invisible for three seconds. So I'm probably just because it's got a long cooldown, I'm probably gonna just stick with this one. Invisible key. No locked doors or secret. No locked or secret doors. Okay, need. As I said earlier. Take as much that front as you can early on. Then you kind of very later on. I do like the way that the game handles synergies. It handles synergies with bad items instead of good, well, sorry, bad items instead of good items. It increases fade time by half the coins and hearts. All that means is, so when you get coins and hearts pop up, they have, they're up for a certain amount of time before they disappear. So, that's fine. We grab this. See, next to the items, there'll be a, um, a number. And that pretty much will uh, tell you how much you will be to your next bunch of items. Okay, and another good thing about this chicken that I really like is uh, the fact that if there is a X. See, there's an X on this thing here. It will kill them in one hit. What's this do? Drop hearts explode on disappearing. That's fine. Probably get dropped hearts anyway at the moment. And you can't pick up keys. I haven't seen a key yet, so whatever. So we'll have two items. For our, um, if we want to find a shopkeeper, and there is a shopkeeper coming up very soon. As you can see, there is a little light above the door, up to the right. I want to get the coin, but this way. fine. One shot. So we're going to go to the. Someone that's really handy when you're about to go into the shop and there's like a big negative item there. You just like, I'll take it. Just go to the shop, get rid of it straight away. There's no reason to not go those things. A lottery ticket chance you will not be charged for weapon purchase in the shop. I like that. That's. Also good, add your HP to the to your max HP, but not more than three. Add your HP. Oh, there we go. Six. Oh, oh did I steal something? Oh. So let's check out this button. I don't know what kind of gun it is, but let's look. Cool. They say the bullets are red, so you can kind of see which ones are yours and which ones are the bad guys. Coin. Small wallet, you can't pick up coins. Eh, whatever. Uh, I'm going to. Wait, do, do I fight the boss now or do I fight the boss later? I think I fight the boss later. Just for the fact that I've only got two lives and I kind of want to get some more lives before I fight the boss. I don't know what the boss is like. Completely on the shoe. Okay, um, I'm going to do one more run. 
before I call it a day, but um, to be honest, I kind of like just starting it. I'm just, I'm not going to lie, I'm just, I'm just starting it. Just a nice long range. So yeah, this is gonna be my last run for this for this episode. I need to do some How do I why I, why am I losing two lives? Come on, I'm not sure why I lost two lives, but that's a dirty bomb gun. There's a chance your weapon is going to take those. Yeah, so I've got to do some study today. I am starting an online course, uh, game design. So I am learning a program called Maya, which is a 3D, doing like character models and um, you know, item models. But at the moment, I'm doing concept art for a night. Uh, but it's a, it's, I'm learning 3D at the moment, and my passion. So I'm looking forward to learning this new video. I've only really just started this course. I know nothing about it. But I kind of started when I um I did my own world like game. So hopefully, fingers crossed, by the end of the year, I get I've got some of my own roguelike game done. And I can play that on the channel, wouldn't that be fun? My own roguelike game. Now, I've pretty much got all the concept down for it. Now it's all to do with uh, how do I make it? Somebody who's uh, pretty good at game developing, it'll be a very, very easy game to make. I think you got instantly by touching the enemy. We'll take that risk. Sure, we'll. Stay away from you. I don't know what that, I didn't read it, I don't know what that one does, but I'm going to fight the boss because, no I'm not, I'm going to go here and hopefully get a shot to so the boss, so shot in the next, as you can see there's a shot on there, so we'll get rid of all our bad items, and I'm not 100% sure if the shots are randomised that they appear, or they, you know, whatever we're up to, just say we're up to, I can't remember, 1.3, room 1.3, if they're always on 1.3 or 1.4. Um, that's something I will have a look out for. We'll look out for that together. You know, we don't just discover everything the game has to offer in the very first playthrough, or in this case, third playthrough, it's more of a fast-paced game. Ah, it's not really fast-paced, it's just, I just, I'm just not too good, so that's why it has gone a bit more fast-paced than the Remember when I thought uh, Enter the Gungeon was a very fast paced sort of game and you know, runs only lasted for five minutes, but yeah, if you're good, that's cool. If you're not terrible, that's not quite the case. So uh, you can steal, apparently. And I don't know what the consequences are for stealing, but one plus coin we for damage. And increase your chance a little bit more. Cool. But I'm not sure what the consequences might be. Maybe I can never buy a weapon again. Maybe I'm just this floor or the next or all fours, but uh, we'll figure that one together as well. Um, I probably prefer the other gun that I have, but this one's not bad. Uh, yeah, it looks like our only choice is to fight the boss and. Uh, you won't go down as easily as last time because I don't have a stronger, stronger weapon and I don't have the thing where one health and it does double damage. But we'll still get it. We'll still get it. I like to just hang around these spikes so when you're playing playing out, fly on. I thought I still had that thing where I died if I but I didn't, so that's alright. 
only problem with this the chicken as well is um unfortunately it doesn't have good aim and you are moving so you kind of gotta be standing still to get much damage. Get in the Stay away from me. And decreases your speed run, like your run speed, reload speed, rate of fire, and weapon damage by 3 and 5%. A bit of a kick in the teeth, that one. Oh, I did not see that guy there. Ooh. Oh, I should have been paying attention and getting keys and everything. Let's see. Ability to turn your shield on the shield protecting from projectiles for five seconds. Um, I'm going to keep that one. What's the issue? Immunity to acid. That's what we need. Um, 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 um. I'm going to... Ah... Uh... I'm going to not take that one. It's just a bit of a... There's too much stuff to put down by 25%. One thing, that's okay. All of it hurts a little bit. That's, that's fine. I don't care. We don't loot half that much anymore, I've done. And if you do good enough, you shouldn't have to worry about hearts anyway. That's the way I see it. What, what number are we up to? We're up to... Uh, 2 2. Sorry, chest down. We have one health left, so let's be very, very careful. But this is our last. Actually, use that shield. Nice. Got about that shield. Let's use that area. So this is good little. The shield's awesome because you just wait. You know, stand over here, wait for the cooldown, and then use it again. Get up and close, and use it again. Okay, so we can still get killed by a ghost. You know what? It's a learning experience. It's kind of good to uh, to know. Let's just have a quick look before we end it. See what we have unlocked. So, okay, so we've unlocked challenges. So Try to beat various twisted challenges. Each day we okay, so we've unlocked the um, the daily now, which is um pretty cool. So I think for our next for our next run, we do a daily daily challenge. Uh, yeah, we'll do a daily. For our next one, so let's just quick. I just want to quickly see what we've unlocked. We've unlocked the kingdom, so it has a chance to clone and kill the enemy, which is very cool. By exchanging artifacts for every two risk value, gets a bit more hard. Still, this is um quite chance to clone to an enemy. Ah, that's not a good thing. So clone an enemy and you know basically come after you. I thought maybe it was a clone enemy and would come on the side. See, they've all got like high pros and high cons. Alright, so anyway, that was Blazing Beast. And it doesn't look. When you first play it, you're like, yeah, I could take it or leave it. But keep playing it, and you'll be pleasantly surprised on how good and addictive this game actually is. Uh, especially with its uh, reward system. It's kind of, you know, it challenges you. You know, to pick up these items that will really, really um, hampen your experience. But then you, you know, exchange them over. And get rid of them and get better items. So, that was that game. And yeah, I really enjoy, I really enjoy this game a lot. And I am looking forward to playing a lot more Blazing Beaks. Thank you. This will be my very, this is my very first episode. And I'll Episode 2 will be coming out very, very soon. I cannot wait to have another run of this game. See ya!